I used to own a 1200 horsepower Shelby GT500. Now, I own a C7 Corvette Z06. Today, we're gonna compare and contrast these two amazing cars in my personal experience of an owner and driver. So let's get right into it. Welcome back to another video, guys. Today, we have a pretty highly requested video here on the channel. Uh, you guys know I love Mustangs, I love Corvettes. I've owned them both, and now we're gonna see which car is better. It's pretty hard to decide between a Shelby GT500 and a Z06 Corvette, but I'm gonna do my best in this video to really describe and give you guys a good idea of the pros and cons on both of these cars. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do a bunch of car content. I love muscle cars. I have Mustangs. I have a 1968 Ford Mustang Fastback currently doing a Coyote Swap update very short on that i also have a 1965 ac shelby cobra just did an aluminum wrap tire stencils and exhaust and i also have a c7 corvette which we've done just cosmetic we've done carbon fiber we've done tail lights uh we're going to get into performance very shortly as well we have long tube headers on the way as well as axe back so full new exhaust system coming uh it's going to completely transform the sound of this vehicle i got some pretty cool mods that's going to make her chop and perform a lot better so performance is on the way consider subscribing i would greatly appreciate it. also check out the merch down in the description this is the classic fastback coyote all purchases gets your name on the hood so make sure to go ahead and grab that but yes we are going to be comparing on contrasting the z06 corvette and my gt500 we are going to be splitting this into different categories we're going to be talking about performance we're going to be talking about the community we're going to be talking about handling braking interior sound system we're going to go into depth throughout both of these cars just to show you guys the pros and cons and what I personally prefer out of these two. So we do have my 2014 Shelby GT500, highly modified. It had a wide body, it had Shelby Super Snake upgrades, completely modded out and it was the perfect build in my opinion. I did sell it out of the country to an amazing supporter that I still have contact today. And then we have my newly purchased Z06 Corvette 2015, not so modified, kind of in the beginning stages, but I've owned this car for about about four to five months and I feel like I can compare them already without having to do all of the mods I did with the Shelby GT500. All right, let's jump right into it. Let's start with the most highly anticipated topic, horsepower numbers. So the C7 Z06 Corvettes came with 650 horsepower, 650 foot-pounds of torque. The 2013 to 2014 Shelby GT500s, the Trinity motor came out with 662 horsepower and 631 foot-pounds of torque. So. The Shelby GT500 has more horsepower stock, but less foot-pounds of torque than the Z06. However, when you do get into the modifications, the Shelby GT500 tops out the Z06 with the limits that you can do. The Shelby GT500 motor can support up to 1,000 horsepower to the crank, maybe more. I did not test out more than 1,000. I did make 850 to the wheels, and doing research and investigation in the Z06 community, I cannot find a stock motor going over 900 horsepower. So Ford's build quality of their engines is top tier with that dual overhead cam has more potential than the Z06. So when it comes to horsepower, torque, and performance straight with the motor itself, I'm going to give this one to the Shelby GT500. They are both supercharged V8s. One is a 5.8 liter, the Shelby GT500, and the Z06 comes with a 6.2 liter. So even though the Z06 has a bigger displacement, it is actually weaker when it comes to aftermarket mods. And since we're in the discussion of aftermarket mods, let's head right into that. The Shelby GT500, you take parts from Mustangs and you could throw it at the Shelby GT500 when it comes to engine performance. The Mustang aftermarket car parts blows the Corvette aftermarket car parts out of the water because there's just so much more Mustangs out there than there are ZL6. The market for Mustangs is higher. The demand is higher. When I search for parts, I can only find really only two to three websites that carry these parts. But when it comes to Mustangs, there are so many providers, so many parts. When it comes to camshafts, there's lists of them. When it comes to um, camshafts for the Corvette, there's just a couple that they have. There's and the supplies of tuners when it comes to Mustang. There's limited supplies when it comes to Corvettes. In my personal opinion, correct me if I'm wrong, but the aftermarket modifications go to the GT500 as well. So we've talked about horsepower numbers. We talked about the aftermarket mods and supplements to that. Now let's talk about which car is faster. We have a Corvette Z06 aerodynamic 
3,600 pounds, could lower it down to 3,200 pounds as well. And then we have the GT500 stock 4,200 pounds, could lower it down to 36 to 38. The Corvette is gonna take this topic as the faster vehicle out of the two. The GT500 is extremely heavy. It's not as aerodynamic, and it just doesn't have the capabilities like the Z06 does when it comes to going fast. The first thing that I felt getting in this Corvette was how I felt like I was floating, how fast this thing was cutting through the air, how light it felt, how aerodynamic it felt. The Corvette is going to be faster than the GT500 in every single way. Straight line corners, you name it, the Corvette feels faster, it is faster. And even though it makes less horsepower, the Corvette is still going to beat the GT500 especially with the automatic transmission that I have. So now let's talk about handling, which this one is going to be a no brainer when it comes to how well things handle. The GT500 is meant to go in a straight line. Yes, it did have an upgrade of track performance at the time, but it was really nothing to flaunt about because it still handled like a Mustang. It has a solid rear and axle. It did have some upgrades with its suspension. However, the Corvette with its magnetic ride and the way it's built, super low to the ground, super aerodynamic, and literally built for the track is going to beat the GT500 in this category as well. Now, when it comes to braking, the GT500 has six piston Brembo brakes, which is gonna be an upgrade from the Corvette, but it really depends on which braking system you have with the Corvette because you can get the carbon ceramics, which I currently have on my Z07 package, or you could get the iron rotors that come on every other model. So it really depends on which model Corvette you have, but when it comes to braking, the GT500 does have the middleman, the middle ground of the two between the big brakes of the Corvette and the carbon ceramic brakes. Uh, of the upgraded carbon ceramic package. So that is where the braking stand. So let's talk about interiors. The Shelby GT500, it was an upgrade of the S197. At the time, Mustangs did not have the best interior, but the 1314s would definitely have the best from the 2005 to 2014 generation. The S550s after that is gonna get a huge upgrade, but for this generation, it was really good. It did have the entertainment system. It had the Recaro seats. It had the racing steering wheel and all the clusters that you possibly need in my opinion i absolutely loved how large it was inside you had lots of room the recaro seats hugged you very very nice as well as i liked the cluster was a manual cluster rather than electronic like the z06 the z06 cockpit is very nice it is very tight it is smaller it is tailored towards the driver so it does make it feel like a fighter pilot the seats are not anywhere near the recaros i don't have the competition seats that's also another upgrade i did not get here but uh, they are very nice. You cannot recline them all the way. I did drive this 15 hours from Texas to California and I did not feel comfortable. However, I did a 24 hour drive rally in the Chevy GT500 in those Recaros and it was the most comfortable thing ever. So when it comes to interior, the larger, the better seats, the manual cluster in the Chevy GT500 is going to take this, in my personal opinion, when it comes to interior and the driving experience. Now on the topic of interior, let's talk about sound system which is in some people's minds a very important topic in my personal opinion i love sound system if the sound system in the car is not good i kind of don't want it we do have the shaker 500 shaker 1000 systems in the shelby gt500 and then in the c7 corvettes we do have the seven speaker eight speaker bose system which bose is of course a high quality speaker brand um and then the shaker 500 shaker 1000 is going to be ford's sound system there when it comes to the sound quality in my personal opinion i loved the shaker 1000 beat the bass the sound quality and just how powerful it was over the eight speaker bose which i have in my z07 corvette yes bose is great they're top quality both sound very very well but when it comes to listening to music in my opinion i love the shaker 1000 extra subwoofer in the back that gave music the extra punch which the subwoofer in the z06 does not provide so the sound system in the mustang is going to take it over the c7 corvette now let's talk about the looks of the car this this topic is very subjective because what may look good to me may not look good to you and vice versa. So to be honest, I don't know what car I like because they just look so good. You do get the muscle car look of the Shelby GT500 and then you get the sportier car look with the Z06. To be honest, what do you like? Comment down below. 
I like them both. I will take both. The rear end on these two cars are probably my favorite. They are the two most iconic rears when it comes to talking about Mustangs in general and Corvettes in general. The C7 rear looks very aggressive and the 2013 to 2014 arguably has the best rear end of all Mustangs. The side profile, I really love the Z06 profile, looks like a bullet. And the front end, I'm not a big fan of the front end on the C7 Corvettes. I think it looks too innocent. I love how aggressive the Chevy GT500 keeps it up in the front. So when it comes to cosmetically, it could go any way. Comment down below what you like better. When it comes to sound of the exhaust, I was never a fan of Ford modular Mustangs after the three valve. I really think the 5.0 liters don't sound that good. The Voodoo sounds probably the best out of all of them, the um, GT350 motor. Uh, when it comes to how they sound, I just think they sound a little bit raspy. Uh, so when it comes to the exhaust tone topic, uh, we're going to be taking the Z06 Corvette versus the Sharpie GT500. The Z06 does have the single cam, which does have a benefit of sound performance all around, as well as you could cam it and make it sound like a real muscle car. So when it comes to sound in general, I'm going to give this one to the Corvette just because of the single cam and the ability to chop. In addition to the dual overhead cams with the 32 valves, 16 of them being exhaust, it is not the best sounding. It sounds too raspy, too loud. I wish it had more tone, aggressiveness, and deepness. Let's talk about community. The Corvette community versus the Mustang community. As mentioned previously, there's a lot more Mustangs than there are Corvettes. More younger Mustang owners than there are Corvettes. Corvette owners tend to be middle-aged men, um, tend to be a little bit uh, not so internet social media oriented. So when it comes to online communities, I'm going to give this one to the Mustangs because there are, and when I say a huge margin difference, a significant one when it comes to Corvettes and Mustang. I see that there are way more Mustang owners because you could get a Mustang from $5,000 from a 15 year old guy or gal who just got their license to a 90 year old guy on his deathbed having his classic. So the community on the Mustang is going to be a lot larger when it comes to getting involved, making friends, being social, of finding other enthusiasts and just collaborating all together. So when it comes to community, the Mustang community is a lot bigger and a lot better in my opinion than the Corvettes. So now for the most important question. Hey Nate, what would you pick? The GT500 or the Corvette? Well, again, they're two completely different animals. I love both cars to be completely honest. The GT500 was just extremely fast. I loved how it looked. I loved how it drove. I love the manual experience. I love the 1314 tradition and how how well that car was built and then also the Corvette it is honestly my first track car my first automatic and the C7 Corvette in my opinion is the best Corvette out there the C2 is also my dream Corvette when it comes to classics but you can't really compare modern and classic cars when talking about the C7 it's the C6 and the C8 is it's really only competition the C6 is iconic in every single way as well and the C8 is now a supercar it's a mid-engine it's is it even considered a Corvette I'm not entirely sure so I love both of these cars. They're they're great. But if I had to absolutely choose the GT500 or the C7 Corvette, I'm be taking the C7 Corvette. Just because in my opinion, it's an overall better car. It could go fast in a straight line. It could go fast in a corner. I love the fiberglass. I love the cam. I love the looks of it. I love the aggressiveness of it. The only thing I wish it had was the support and the community of the Mustang as well as the potential gains that Mustangs have as well. I think if it had that, it would be overall as well as a little bit cheaper just because uh, it is a pretty expensive car. But that's going to be my take if I had to absolutely choose. That means absolutely nothing to my build and my GT500. I love it. It's the best build I have ever done in my full entire life. And this Corvette does not even come close to it as well. That is just if a gun was pointing to my head and I had to choose, I would go with it. But again, if you are interested in Mustangs or Corvettes, by all means, any choice will be a great choice. They will both make your dreams come true and honestly open your eyes to a full new different world. So that is my opinion. That is my comparing on contrast being a c7 corvette owner as well as a shelby gt500 owner and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed the video i hope it cleared up some questions that you guys may have had if you have any other questions comment down below i might reply or maybe make a full new dedicated video with an update on the corvette versus gt500 but that is all i have for you guys today 
If you enjoyed it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below. Again, all thoughts, opinions, whatever you may need. Make sure to grab some merch down in the description. I would greatly appreciate that. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you again. Deuces. Thank you.